In this video, we're going over how to marry your Samsung Galaxy A53 to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to marry your Samsung Galaxy A53 screen to your TV. I'm gonna show you two different methods. One method is gonna be how to mirror the entire screen and everything you're doing on the phone to the TV. And the second method, I'm just gonna show you how to send a video from your phone to the TV. So for example, if you're trying to stream a Netflix video or Hulu video or something on YouTube or a video you recorded, uh, how to do that. So let's get started. I'm gonna walk you through what you need to uh, be able to set this up and make it work for you. So in the first method, again, we're gonna mirror just the, the phone and everything that we're doing is gonna show up on the TV. To do this, first we will need uh, to be in a location that has a Wi-Fi network. Um, and as you'll see, I'm gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. My Wi-Fi is turned on, this little icon, and I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. And you can see it because you can see my little Wi-Fi icon at the top of the screen right here. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi. That's on. Second, I'm gonna need a Google Chromecast, and that's what I'm gonna to use to mirror the phone to the TV. Now there, um, this will also work with a Roku as well, so Chromecast or Roku, um, but specifically in the video, I'll be demonstrating the process with a Chromecast, so just FYI. So what we'll need to do is go to the Google Play Store, and we'll need to do a search. So type in the box here, type in the word home, and search and the Google Home app will come up. You'll need to download this app on your phone and let's open it right now. And I'll walk you through the setup process. So we're just gonna hit get started, okay. And then we're gonna slide our phone to the left because I want you to be able to see what's happening in real time on my TV once I hit the button and it begins to mirror to the TV. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my TV screen up right here so you can see in real time what's happening. Um, next, what we're gonna do is, uh, so our TV is already turned on, let me preface it. Make sure your TV is turned on. Make sure you are on the input that your Chromecast is plugged into, and you should see a wallpaper on the screen just like I have right here. Uh, I do have an older Chromecast, so if you have a newer version, you won't see a wallpaper like this. You'll see apps, which is their new setup, so uh, doesn't matter as long as it's a Google Chromecast. All right, let's tap on this little button at the bottom under other devices. Uh, my Chromecast is named Chromecast 6871. Select that. I'm gonna tap the button that says cast my screen. Cast my screen. Start now. And in a matter of seconds, you'll see my phone pop up on the TV. And now everything I do on the screen is gonna show up on the TV. Now this is a great option if you're, again, trying to demonstrate your gameplay. Maybe you're playing a, you know, a, a, a mobile app, or maybe you're at work and you're trying to train a group of people on a process. You could mirror your screen to the TV and then, uh, you know, basically demonstrate how to use the app and the whole process. So this does support landscape and portrait, so you can rotate the phone if you need to. As long as the app supports the landscape position, you'll be fine. And when you're all done and you're ready to stop the phone from mirroring to the TV, simply swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again. Oh wait, here it is. At the bottom where it says casting screen, you'll need to look for this option. Tap on the little arrow to the right. And when you tap it, it'll bring up the disconnect button and tapping that will stop your phone from mirroring to the TV. So right now it's not mirroring anymore. And that was basically our first process, uh, mirroring exactly what's on your phone to the TV. Now in the second process, I'm gonna specifically show you how to just send a video, because maybe you're just trying to, again, stream Netflix, stream Hulu, show a video that you just recorded on your phone on the TV. So there's a, a, a bit of an easier process to do that, and you actually don't need a Chromecast to do that. It will be supported with Chromecast, Roku, and some Fire Stick devices, but this other method can simply work with just your phone and a smart TV. Again, they do have to be connected to Wi-Fi, but that's all you would need. So in the second method, first I'm going to uh, bring up a video. So let's go to YouTube. 
I already have a video queued up. And at the top of the video, you'll see this little icon. This is the cast icon. You will see that icon in just about any video app and that will allow you to send the video or cast it from the phone to your TV. So I'm gonna tap the button now. And as you can see, I have a couple of options that are showing up. One is my Chromecast, but the other is my smart TV. And I can select that now and hit confirm. And after a few seconds, you'll see the screen change and it's gonna begin playing that video right on the TV. And now I can hit my home button. I can start doing other things on the phone if I need to respond to a text message, if I need to make a call. I can do whatever I want on the phone and it's not gonna stop the video from playing and that's kinda of why I love this second method. It allows you to just send whatever video you wanna show but still have full access to your phone. And if you want to control the video to make changes, all you'll need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen and our video is playing here. You'll see at the top, there's an arrow right here and when you tap the arrow, it brings up some more options. So I can fast forward the video by dragging this little bubble to the right. I can also pause the video. I can also control the volume by using my volume buttons on the phone. So that is supported. And it looks like there's an ad coming up on the screen, which is funny. But um, this again, will support the volume control. All that will work. And when you're finished and you don't want to cast your screen anymore or your video, just simply tap on the pause and the X and that will close out the video and stop it from streaming to the TV or uh, casting to the TV. So those are two options that are available. Um, I want to show you one more option, which is uh, using Smart View. Smart View is a specific uh, built-in feature from Samsung and the, normally that's the the process I would show to mirror your screen to the TV however the smart view option has been a little funny lately and it hasn't worked as smooth as it has in the past so I wanted to show it last so you could just see that it still does work but just know that it, it hasn't worked as smooth as it has in the past and so that's why it wasn't the first method I wanted to show let's swipe down from the top of the screen Swipe down again, swipe to your left, and you have a smart view option right here. We'll tap on smart view. And this will bring up a list of compatible devices for you to mirror your screen to the TV. So again, it'll be a full mirror like what we did in the first uh, section of the video. And so just to show you, uh, some devices are coming up here, Roku TV, this LG smart TV is coming up, which is my neighbor's TV. Um, but this, the, the smart TV I'm using right now is not showing up on the list. And that's the challenge that I have personally been running into is that um, my smart TV doesn't always show up. And there really is no way to troubleshoot that other than closing out the app, restarting the phone, turning off your Wi-Fi, turning your Wi-Fi back on. So that's why, again, I was a bit hesitant to show this specific process, but I want you to know that it's there. Try it on your phone. It might work if it works great, but if it doesn't, you have two other options that will also work just as smooth for you. So um, that is option three, which is the smart view. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do me a favor, if it was helpful, stop and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.